Hello dear friends, and I'm Richard, your brother in Christ, and welcome to this Daily Brief Gospel Reflection. And today I'd like to pose the question, how can we have a lasting relationships, lasting love, lasting joy, and even lasting life? Recently, I was able to join the Leaders Executive Co Committee. We're in a meeting, we're in all the branch, branch leaders of Ang Likod ng Panginoon all over the country and some um, and other branches in, the, in Singapore. And during that meeting, we were able uh, to discuss, plan together, we hid um, where the Lord really wants us to go and also to be united in executing, in implementing the plans we have discussed during that meeting. And also the second thing that I'd like to share is that last year we're in the branch where I'm in, in Likod Malay Balay, we're really having a tough time because of some form of disunity which started from me. Wherein I have in mind, I have wanted to do this, but my heart speaks otherwise. Or even recently, dear friends, is that this morning during my class, because it's my math class, and I told them, okay, this is, there are 50 students. That's in my mind. But I told them, okay, there are 20 students. But then I asked them, okay, so again, with the 50 students that we'll be referring to, uh, wait, Mr. C, you mentioned it's 20, not 50. Did I say so? Wait, but my mind says it's 50, but, but you said Mr. C is 20. Oh, all right, okay. So it led to a form of confusion and if there's this, this what we call this unity, but if there's unity, we come to, come to in being one mind of doing things and being together in accomplishing uh, the mission, in accomplishing the task to be done. And we know that in different organizations, unity or team uh, being um, synergy is very, very important for an organization to continue to keep on, whether if whether it's in their success or in their failure, but if they continue to come together, they'll continue to last. And in the same way, in the gospel today, wherein Jesus has been accused that he has been sent by Satan, but if Satan, as Jesus mentioned, made mention that if Satan goes against himself, if there's going to be a division with him, then his kingdom, Satan's kingdom, will definitely be broken. It will not last. And in the same way, if we really wanted to have a lasting relationships, whether family, friends, colleagues, co-servants, lasting love, lasting joy, lasting faith, is that there's a call for us to continue to be united with the giver himself, the giver of our capability to be united with the source, with Jesus Christ himself. Because if there's division between you yourself, my, I myself, and with my father, with my source, then I don't think I will last. I don't think even doing this video will last because I'm speaking about his word, his, how he manifested himself towards my life and even to the lives of others that I have could seen, I have observed, then I guess and I believe I will not last. And the same way with all the things that we do, whether at work, if, there's this, there, if there is division between us, in one movement, in an organization, then I don't think we will really last. And so in order for us to avoid confusion and even to be broken, being lost in, the, in this journey, let's continue to be united. But the most important unity that we can have is the unity that we can have with our source, which is Jesus Christ himself. Yes, that's it. So dear friends, always remember that you are blessed and such blessings are not meant for us to keep, but for us to share to others. So share the blessings, share the good news, share the love, and may you, have, may you be blessed always. Adios.